Martin Tyndall Hampson. Uh, Rum Han. Lu Han. Christina Helen Hard. Emma Harford. Melanie Jane Harris. Emma Roxanne Harrison. Ingrid Hendrika Harrison. Nicholas Dean Harvey. Demelza Alana Havelock. Dion Terry Henare. Andre Albert Hervey. Peter John Brooke Hibberdeen. Anthea Freya Hill. Caroline Elizabeth Hill. Toa Eva Hitila. Jung Man Charmaine Ho. Joey Cho Yi Ho. Nolan Paul Hodgson. Roisin Ellen Hogan. Christopher Greg Holdaway. Simon James Holden. Isaac Thomas Hollis. Olivia Mary Holton. Esther Hong. Sami Hong. Holly Crowley Hopcroft. Ashley Julia Hope. Miriam Rose Hornberg. Lisa Marie Horrocks. Chen Ming Xu. Yunlu Huang. Jesse J. Hubbard. Lisette Fay Huggins. Maria Ann Hughes. Fiona Wing Hang Hui. Yu Wing Hui. Deborah Hull Brown. Kimberly Ann Humphreys. Felicity Ann Hunt. Naomi Evelyn Hutchison. Tu Luk T. Huin. Cho Long Huang. Janet Berenia Christopher Ikimoto, Senior Scholar in Pacific Studies. <laughs> Caitlin Margaret Ivory. <laughs> Carol Jack. <laughs> Song Yi Jong.
Arini Johns. <laughs> Stephen Neil Jolly. <laughs> Dale Michael John Jones. <laughs> Nakita Julie Jones. <laughs> Annalise Sarah Jones Hogg. Bonnie Patricia Young. <laughs> Fujiko Kato. <laughs> Amanda Catherine Kay. <laughs> Amy Louise Keel. <laughs> Hira Kim. Aye Mi Kim. Thank you, Pro-Chancellor, for conferring the degrees and awarding the diplomas in the first half of this ceremony. One of the great pleasures of graduation is the opportunity to hear performances by students from our acclaimed School of Music. Tina Kim on piano will now perform Paganani Etude, number six in A minor by Franz Liszt. Thank you. 
takes a piece of music like that to remind you just what the, the power and the breadth and the range of the piano, the grand piano, and particularly when it's played the way Tina has just played that piece by Franz Liszt. Could I ask you to show your appreciation one more time? Each year, we have some memorable performances by students from our School of Music. And if you would like to hear further performances, uh, you are invited to our graduation concert. All graduands and their families are invited, uh, and the concert will be at 7.30 this, uh, th this Thursday in the Town Hall, and admission is free. By the authority vested in me, by resolution of the University of Auckland Council, I, Roger France Chancellor, confer the degrees and award the diplomas stated upon those who within their faculty have satisfied the requirements of this university. I now call upon the Dean of the Faculty of Arts, Associate Professor Crossbait, to present further graduands in that faculty. To the degree of Bachelor of Arts, Hyun Jin Kim. <laughs> Jasmine Kim. <laughs> Jisoo Kim. <laughs> Ji Young Kim. Shin Ae Kim. <laughs> Yo Chang Kim. <laughs> Madeline Grace Valentine King. <laughs> Jessica Kitt. <laughs> Lauren Claproth. Andrew Ross Kane Knight. <laughs> Wan Kyu Ko. <laughs> Sandeep Ashneel Kumar. <laughs> Lillian Ling Fai Kwong. <laughs> Ho Yan Lai. Vida Joyce Mercedes Laird. Fiona Hannah Lamont. Ji Young Lee. Ju Hyung Lee. Kai Chi Lee. Min Mu Lee. <laughs> Sang Kuk Lee. <laughs> Te Hyung Lee. <laughs> Ye Ji Lee. <laughs> Charlotte Ann Lee. Jessica Francis Leach. <laughs> Anne Karina Leituala. <laughs> Xiangxin Li. <laughs> John Raymond Lilly. <laughs> Engtat Nigel Lim. Christopher Kenneth Wilson Lines. <laughs> Carmel Rose Lithgow. <laughs> Charles Chu Liu. 
Zhu Liu. Shuo Liu. Anna Elizabeth Lovies. Amelia Harata Luisi. Po Fai Manfreda Ma. Andrew James McCarrath. Matthew John McKinley. Hannah Shan McKinvin. Arohanui and a Faye Pauline Maiga. <laughs> Elaine Clara Ma. <laughs> Preeti Mysuria. <laughs> Loko Maka. Patricia Mahalioni Patumaka Makata. <laughs> Catherine Rose Mangu. <laughs> Sandia Manminda. <laughs> Claire Chanel Mansbridge. Kerry Domian Manson. <laughs> Sir Yi Ma. <laughs> Branko Masatic. <laughs> Sabrina Matu. Jacob James Matthews Taylor. <laughs> Jessica Rose Matthews. <laughs> Ayumi Jane Maxwell. <laughs> Sarah Anne Marie McCambridge. <laughs> Connor McCarthy. Jenna Lynn McLenahan. <laughs> Chloe Ann McCready. <laughs> Samuel James McDonald. <laughs> Sarah Alexandra McDonald. <laughs> Brooke. Carrie McGregor. Sarah June McKenna. Richard Ian McKenzie. Jane McKinley. Dolores Leone McMaster. Leia Robin McVeigh. <laughs> Rachel Elizabeth Metcalf. <laughs> Sean Keith Meehan. <laughs> Nastasia Vera Millard. Eloise Karen Minogue. Lisa Jane Monks. Jisun Moon. Ben Thomas Moore.
Elizabeth Miriam Morgan. Nicola Francesca Moss. Taryn Leanne Muir. Valinda Moncetti Chendria. To the degree of Bachelor of Arts conjoint, Matthew Christopher Bunce and a Bachelor of Commerce. Octavia Ellen Jean Laura Calder Dorr and a Bachelor of Science, Senior Scholar in History. <laughs> Jacinda Grace Culkin and a Bachelor of Science. <laughs> Thomas Kalm and a Bachelor of Commerce. Louise Ann Carneal and a Bachelor of Theology. <laughs> De Yen Chin and a Bachelor of Commerce and a Graduate Diploma in Arts. <laughs> Jessica Kate Downey and a Bachelor of Commerce. Samantha Kim Eagle and a Bachelor of Health Sciences. <laughs> Kevin John Gordon and a Bachelor of Commerce. <laughs> Jenny Gu and a Bachelor of Commerce. <laughs> Nicholas Stewart Hutchinson and a Bachelor of Science. Boris Jancic and a Bachelor of Commerce. Erin Elizabeth Keach and a Bachelor of Science. Jeannie Kim and a Bachelor of Laws. Elaine Yun Yuen Kung and a Bachelor of Commerce. Matthew Kun Hong Lee and a Bachelor of Commerce. <laughs> Jeremy Charles Andrew Lees Green and a Bachelor of Commerce. <laughs> Emma Lee Lewis and a Bachelor of Science. <laughs> Jong Lee and a Bachelor of Commerce. Thomas Dennis Malone and a Bachelor of Commerce. <laughs> Joshua Leon Martin and a Bachelor of Commerce. <laughs> Sarah Lee Martin and a Bachelor of Commerce. <laughs> Luke Timothy Mays and a Bachelor of Laws. Shweta Sridharan Nair and a Bachelor of Health Sciences. Karen. Karen Olga Pinto and a Bachelor of Theology. Jasmine Valerie Roy Wojciechowski and a Bachelor of Commerce. Cameron Christopher Stanley and a Bachelor of Science. <laughs> Reese Llewellyn Stunnell and a Bachelor of Commerce. <laughs> Joshua Philip Thurston and a Bachelor of Theology. <laughs> Lawrence Maxwell Tuck and a Bachelor of Commerce. Rebecca Sean Turner and a Bachelor of Science. <laughs> Postgraduate Diploma in Language Teaching. Juanita Joy Watts.
postgraduate diploma in social science research methods, Tracy Andrea Evans. <laughs> postgraduate diploma in translation studies with distinction, Heather Margaret Clark. Maria Isabel Gomes Velarde. <laughs> Catherine Diane Milan. <laughs> Charlotte Katharina Stockwell. <laughs> Postgraduate Diploma in Translation Studies with Merit. Xiao Hong Fong. Manying Shum. <laughs> Shireen Mei Yong. <laughs> Postgraduate Diploma in Translation Studies. Sophia Jane Cook. <laughs> to the degree of Bachelor of Arts Honours with First Class Honours. Mindy Ruth Alaraji in History. <laughs> Meirav Amit in Psychology. <laughs> Cassandra Mary Bates in Psychology. <laughs> Sophia Louisa Blair in Political Studies. Kirsten Victoria Brower in History. <laughs> Caroline Jane Brumbridge in Ancient History. <laughs> Chantelle Marie Alvina Burgoyne in Screen Production. <laughs> Andrew Ross Finlay Clark in English. <laughs> Teresa Clues in Film, Television and Media Studies. Adam Thomas Rutherford Craigie in Sociology. Kane Ditchfield in Anthropology. Bailey Duggan in Political Studies and a Bachelor of Arts. Ella Mary McLennan Durand in Sociology. Samuel David Durbin in Film, Television and Media Studies. Daniel Miller Evans in History. Eva Marie Farrand in Political Studies. Shannon Margaret Cecilia Franich in Film, Television and Media Studies. <laughs> Timothy Mark Edward George in Film, Television and Media Studies and a Bachelor of Arts. <laughs> Benjamin Graham Gilmore in Sociology. <laughs> Sarah Louise Greer in History, Faculty Graduate Scholar. Angela Hugh in Political Studies. Anna Ivanovich in Art History. Hyun Myung Kim in Political Studies. Cameron Philip McCaffrey in Anthropology. <laughs> Phoebe Robertson Malloy in Psychology and a Bachelor of Arts. <laughs> Ms. 
Madeleine Mary Angela Moore in Sociology. <laughs> to the degree of Bachelor of Arts Honours with Second Class Honours First Division, Shawanaz Ali in Sociology. <laughs> Elizabeth Grace Jones Alty in Art History. Phoebe May Anderson in Sociology. James Nicholas Robert Appleby in History. Chloe Jane Frances Bella in History. Ryan Earl Bogardus in History. Kimberly Michelle Cook in History. Jade Elizabeth Cowley in Psychology. James Sean Rehana David in History. Jonathan Charles Gilbert in English. Paul Richard Hawkes in Political Studies. <laughs> Nicholas Ramsey Leary in Political Studies. <laughs> Rianne Munro in Drama and a Bachelor of Arts. To the degree of Bachelor of Hon oh, sorry, to the degree of Bachelor of Arts Honours with Second Class Honours Second Division, Graham Eclectic Bibby in Screen Production and a Bachelor of Arts. <laughs> Diane Gale Casley in English. <laughs> Jane Edge in English. Matthew Stephen Franklin in Anthropology. <laughs> Chloe Philippa Rose Fryer in History. <laughs> Elizabeth Margaret Matheson in History. <laughs> Alyssa Nika Miles in Geography. To the degree of Master of Public Policy with First Class Honours, Talia Tuilima Andrews. <laughs> to the degree of Master of Professional Studies with First Class Honours, Xian Chang in Translation, Faculty Graduate Scholar. Marina Diaz Botello de Magales in language teaching. <laughs> Hao Da Feng in translation. <laughs> Olivia Helen Nayo Lynch in international relations and human rights. Sarah Brooke Stone in International Relations and Human Rights. <laughs> Yulia Taranova in Translation. <laughs> to the degree of Master of Professional Studies with Second Class Honours First Division. Nora Carolina Kadavid Karia in Translation. Ming Chung in translation. <laughs> Sana Gafur in language teaching. <laughs> Kelly Rose Pihemer in international relations and human rights. <laughs> Kim
Amira Medat Anwar Shukri in language teaching. Clara Thomas in international relations and human rights. Jiao Long Yang in translation. To the degree of Master of Professional Studies with Second Class Honours, Second Division, Big Sun Gumbees in International Relations and Human Rights. <laughs> Ji Hyun Lee in Translation. <laughs> Lakana Praveen Nanayakara in International Relations and Human Rights. Yan Chi in language teaching. <laughs> Peng Cheng Yin in language teaching. <laughs> to the degree of Master of Professional Studies, Veer Ji Kar in international relations and human rights. The, to the degree of Master of Arts with First Class Honours, Gavin Paul Dowler in Language Teaching and Learning. <laughs> Svetlana Fagan in Psychology. <laughs> Samuel Parker Gavin in Philosophy, University Graduate Scholar. Zana Gillespie in screen production. <laughs> Mojan Javadi in screen production and a postgraduate diploma in arts in screen production. <laughs> Dina Marie Kennedy in screen production and a Bachelor of Arts Honours with Second Class Honours First Division in screen production. Carol Maivasira in Development Studies. <clears throat> Alex Alexis Yvonne McCulloch in Film, Television and Media and Studies. <clears throat> Fraser Ian McKissick in Asian Studies. <clears throat> Nafisa Moses in Psychology. To the degree of Master of Arts with Second Class Honours First Division, Andrew Miles Austin in Anthropology. <laughs> Martin John Child in Development Studies. <laughs> Matthew Stewart Coots in Economics. Paul Jeffrey Hasem in Anthropology. <laughs> Jamie Himiona in Anthropology. <laughs> to the degree of Master of Arts with Second Class Honours Second Division, Funze in Film, Television and Media Studies. And in absentia, those other persons named in the Book of Convocation qualified for the conferment of a degree or the award of a diploma from the Faculty of Arts. I now call upon the head of the School of Theology, Professor Wainwright, to present graduands in that school. Chancellor, as head, I have the honour of presenting to you the students qualified for the award of a diploma or conferment of a degree in the School of Theology. Graduate Diploma in Theology, Glenda Ray Jamison.
to the degree of Bachelor of Theology. Conrad Lampton Byrne. <laughs> Judith Caroline Carey. <laughs> Anna Melanie Deinhoven. <laughs> Tomasi Iopu. Bernadette Chantal Judeo. <laughs> Inga Siatama Mokole. <laughs> Eugene Edward Cisneros II. to the degree of Bachelor of Theology Honours with First Class Honours, Christine MacDonald in Christian Thought and History. <laughs> Aram Oroy in Practical Theology. to the degree of Master of Theology with Second Class Honours, Second Division, Nyasha Jasmine Gumbezi in Practical Theology. <laughs> so Atame Tufui Lilo in Christian Thought and History. Savanaka Vuitana Vanua in Christian Thought and History. <laughs> and in absentia, all those other persons named in the Book of Convocation qualified for the conferment of a degree or an award of a diploma in the School of Theology. I now call upon the Vice-Chancellor to present the doctoral graduands. Chancellor, I have pleasure presenting to you the doctoral graduands. To the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, Rohan Dhammapraya Bandara in Theology, Rohan researched the writings of Sri Lankan Christian theologian Aloysius Pyrrhus, who was widely respected in both Christian and Buddhist circles. Rohan discovered the significant liberating potential of the writings of Pyrrhus, both for, inter for interreligious dialogue and for the theory of religion within the context of Sri Lanka. Rohan. Mary Christine Barker in Art History. Modern scholarship has insisted that Rembrandt's art is essentially Protestant. However, Mary's research questions this viewpoint. Her meticulous study of Rembrandt's images of the Virgin Mary revealed that Rembrandt's biblical imagery is very much informed by the Catholic tradition. Craig Lindley Beaumont in history. In exploring the role of the Bank of New Zealand in Fiji, Craig has demonstrated the important place of a particular financial institution within the larger context of the modern development of that country. In doing so, he has also illustrated how the bank has in various ways closely underpinned the relationship between Fiji and New Zealand.
Tong Hong Kai and Asian Studies. <coughs> Tong Hong made a pioneering study of the work of a new generation of filmmakers who emerged in the 1990s, showing what was new about their films and their use of music, storytelling, and tendency to use parody. Tong Hong. Peter Mark Davies in Latin, University Doctoral Scholar, Bright Future, Top Achiever Doctoral Scholar. Mark examined the works written in Latin of Seneca the Younger, the major philosopher of the early Roman Empire. His thesis, a commentary on 12 of Seneca's most important letters, provides a means to assess how Seneca organised his philosophical teaching and what uniquely Roman qualities he brought to it. Cale Brendan Duval in Theology. Cale investigated passages in the Book of Revelation associated with the trumpet plagues. His analysis, using socio-rhetorical interpretation, investigated the way that the implied author's rhetorical strategies served to produce a counter-cultural text challenging the surrounding Greco-Roman cultures and the Roman imperial system. <laughs> Xiaoping Gao in Language Teaching and Learning, Bright Future, Top Achiever Doctoral Scholar. Xiaoping investigated the variability in the use of a grammatical structure in the interlanguage of learners of Chinese as a second language in New Zealand and in China. Claire Linda Gooder in History, University Doctoral Scholar. Claire examined sex education in New Zealand from the Second World War until the advent of HIV AIDS. She demonstrated how sex education was an ideological and socially constructed field of knowledge, changing in response to the social and cultural contexts of its production. Her th thesis contributes to our understanding of the discourses of health, citizenship, morality and normality. Brett Harvey Hegren in Ancient History, University Doctoral Scholar, Bright Future Top Achiever Doctoral Scholar. Brett investigated the possibility that the pharaonic Egyptian army employed a form of warfare known in today's military circles as operational art. In proving this, he was able to show that not only had Egyptian military doctrine reached a high level of military sophistication, but the temporal origins of operational art itself must be pushed back far earlier than what modern military studies currently argue. <laughs> Deborah Mary Jowett in History. Deborah examined the factors that shaped the development of hepatitis B policy in New Zealand from 1970 to 2005 with a view to applying her findings in the field of infection prevention. Drawing on archival sources and oral history, Deborah showed that hepatitis B policy expanded according to political, economic and social dynamics, rather than as part of a coherent plan for hepatitis B prevention. Maruk Said Khan in English. Maruk's thesis is a study of the use of female narrators in the novels of J.M. Curtsy and Albert Wendt. It explores the political and ethical implications of narrative point of view, showing how these two writers celebrate the distinctive power of sympathetic imagination. Cherie Kirsty Lacey in Film, Television and Media Studies, 
university doctoral scholar. Cherie investigated the pathologies of settlement through an examination of films about early settlement in New Zealand, and in particular the wars initiated following the breaching of the Treaty of Waitangi. Helen Barbara Lawrenson in History, University Doctoral Scholar. Historical studies of New Zealand tend to focus on the rural and all but ignore Auckland. Helen's thesis on 20th century Auckland is a landmark work in New Zealand social and cultural history. It challenges many of the myths about the Queen City and demonstrates the importance of urban history to the nation's story. Katerina Muhammad Brandner in Sociology. Katerina explored cyberspace as a site of Maori identity negotiation, construction and maintenance, allowing a better understanding of the online world and of the experiences and views of Maori users of websites. And in absentia, all those other persons named in the Book of Convocation qualified for the conferment of a doctoral degree. I now call upon the Vice-Chancellor to present a Fellow of the University of Auckland. Chancellor, I have pleasure in presenting to you Sir Tippany O'Regan for the award of the honour Fellow of the University of Auckland. Sir Tippany O'Regan is to be recognised today for his unique and valuable contribution to the University of Auckland, most notably in his role as Chair of the Board of Ngā Pai o Maramatanga, a centre of research excellence. Sir Tippany joined the Board of Ngā Pai o Maramatanga as Chair in May 2006. He was ideally suited to this role given his previous experience as chair of the Naitahu Māori Trust Board, Naitahu Holdings Corporation, Mafera Incorporation, Te Oho Kaimoana, the Sea Lord Group Limited, and deputy chair of Transit New Zealand. He is also a previous director of Television New Zealand, Meridian Energy, and the founding chair of Te Tapuai Orehua Limited. Sir Tippany is a former Assistant Vice-Chancellor Māori at the University of Canterbury, where he holds an honorary doctorate in literature. He also holds honorary doctorates of commerce from Lincoln University and Victoria University of Wellington. He is a distinguished fellow of the Institute of Directors. Sir Tippany's appointment as chair of the board of Ngā Pai Maramatanga came as the centre was going through a key phase in its development as one might expect given his experience, recognition and profile, Sir Tebony's appointment to the board was very well received and marked a significant transition point for the centre. His term has recently been renewed, reflecting not only the high value of Sir Tebony to Ngā Pai o Te Maramatanga, but also his contribution to Māori and Indigenous development in academia and the community. Sir Tebony is widely respected by both the academic and lay members of the board. Under his chairmanship, even the more difficult meetings have run smoothly and harmoniously. In part, this is due to his level approach and his understanding of the sector, of Māori communities and of research. He is always accessible, available and prepared to provide advice and guidance. So Tebony has been an active chairman. He has been proactive in improving monitoring, reporting and decision-making processes. He has led the board through a successful mid-term review and reapplication process in 2006 and 2007, respectively. Recently, he led the centre through the development of a new strategic direction, research plan and structure. Sir Tebony O'Regan has a commitment to, and has made significant con contributions to, the success and development of Ngā Pai o Te Maramatanga. His expertise and the contribution he makes is recognised and valued, 
particularly in providing positive relations and connections for Ngāpāi and the university with Māori communities, business and government. He is an outstanding ambassador for the vision and mission of Ngāpāi Ōta Maramatanga and of the Centres of Research Excellence as a funding model. The role Sir Tibbany has played as Chair of the Board, Advisor and Ambassador is a clear demonstration of a unique and valuable contribution, the criteria for the award of a University Fellowship. I therefore have pleasure in presenting to you for the award of a University of Auckland Fellowship, Sir Tibbany O'Regan. Eta Tipini Tenakwe. On behalf of the university, I now invite all today's graduates to stand and receive the congratulations of us all. And this feels very much like the perfect opportunity for the graduates to show their appreciation of their families and supporters and the staff of the university who have helped them as they have achieved their qualifications. This concludes this meeting of council and convocation of the university for the conferment of degrees and the award of diplomas. I now invite you to sing the first verse of God Defend New Zealand in Māori and then in English. The words are printed on the reverse of your programs. <laughs> <laughs> 